Okay. And then the following year, 1993, was when the combat exclusion law was repealed. Yep. And that basically allowed women to then fly in combat squadrons. And um, I was flying in a support squadron at that time in the EA-6B Prowler, which is a four-seater jammer jet. Mm-hmm. And it's now um, been retired, and um, there's the two-seater Growler, the two-seater F-18 Hornet now has taken over that mission. Okay. So at that time, I was able to uh, switch to a new squadron and switch to a, a combat squadron and get deployed onto an aircraft carrier, um, USS Abraham Lincoln. I was in the first crew of women on a West Coast boat to okay. – um, uh, transition to a combat squadron so that was another whole (laughs) story in itself because it was you know it was very challenging for everyone i think and um the media was very involved and um Mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of um you know bright lights on that whole um that whole process and um it was difficult for the women i think and for the men well yeah anytime you're Anytime you're in a transition, something of that magnitude, because it is a big transition, no matter which way you look at it. And so I, I think probably uh, you got a lot of people that resented that. And, and uh, you know, maybe some did. Did you, is anything stick out for you in that, in that time, obviously, that you, that you want to mm. discuss? You know, there's been a lot of years since then. And yeah. um, it obviously, it's given me a lot of time to think about it, process it. Um, I remember... Yeah, there was a crew of us, a, a really tight knit group of friends, and we're all still friends and um, women, and going through that. And we were so excited. We are like, because, you know, when you join the military, and I mean, I know aviation, I don't know any other communities, but when you go through flight school, you want to be able to, you know, um, uh, do what everybody does, you know? And it, right. so it was disappointing when we had, we were relegated to those combat squadrons. So for us, it was, we were excited to be in a combat squadron to, to do what we are trained to do. That's right. And, um, I mean, but we definitely were living our lives in a fishbowl. It was very difficult in a lot of ways. And there were also a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, you know, like I said, the media really focused on, um, the women and I mean, the guys were, some of the guys were resentful of that. 